Okay, in this tutorial, we're going to talk about setup. Go to the setup tab. If you look here in the middle, you have high and low speed fans. Rad fan 1 is your low speed fan on the Lotus. Rad fan 2 represents the high speed fan on Lotus. Enter in whatever temperature value you want here, and notice that there is a hysteresis, and this prevents any cycling when the coolant comes to that temperature. Over here, power select switch. This is an optional switch from radium which can be used typically for a boost switch or it can also be used for an octane switch. So if you wanted to have a pump gas tune and a race gas tune, you could use it here. If you had if you wanted to use race gas, a good idea would be put maybe negative 4% in here depending on the octane to run it a little bit more aggressive. And I'd probably start off with maybe 3 or 4 degrees here adding timing depending on the octane of fuel. There's RPM thresholds, there's a TPS criteria, load and vehicle speed, so make sure all of those are met. In the middle here is your variable valve lift. So you have an RPM criteria, load, throttle, fuel and ignition trim if you need it. Over here is your main rev limiter. You can use a fuel cut or ignition cut. We use a fuel cut, but you can do whatever you want. Keep in mind ignition cuts will will lean towards uh, backfires a little bit, so you might want to just use a fuel cut. Down here we have three-step. Three-step not very common in a Lotus. It's meant for drag racing. In a class where they don't allow wheel speed sensors, you can cut power by retarding ignition, cut power by ignition cuts, or cut fuel. This is engine speed versus vehicle speed for all of these. The last thing we have is the two-step. Again, not very common, but let's show you how it works. If I turn this on, because this is a turbocharged car, I'm going to set this to 3,000 RPM. 